As much as I've enjoyed watching your battle from afar, I can't help but be drawn in. That dangerous look on your face. It seems so familiar to me. Anyway, your weak fighting style doesn't seem to be enough, so step aside. I'll handle these buffoons. Now, my weak friend, tell me, where are you coming from? Shake Pavilion. Really? And where are you heading? Watatsumi Island. <laughs> Determined to join the resistance, I imagine. <laughs> and with your style of fighting, and with that dull blade, <laughs> I'm sure they'll put you right to use out on the front lines. A word of advice? I think your idea is foolish. Why would you want to go off and join the losing side? Haven't you seen the Raiden Shogun's army? They're gaining ground every day. And that tiny little resistance, it'll fall soon enough. Now, whether you choose to fall with them, perhaps I can change your mind. You may be weak, but I see potential in you. You have ambition. And I would like to make use of you. Oh, not to be used. Oh, I'm sorry. That is not how I meant it. I do not mean to offend you. But in the end, isn't that what we are? Simply pawns on a chess piece board. But in our little game, I can bring you up from that. Make you more than a pawn. Perhaps make you a king or a queen. If you choose to take my offer, that is. Join me. And in exchange, I will help you achieve your goals. I will give you all that you dream. Delusional? <laughs> Well, precisely. Oh? Not to trust strangers. <laughs> well, I suppose your friend did give you one good piece of advice. How about this? I'll make you a simpler offer. Allow me to guide you to Watatsumi Island. I have... I have my own business there, so you can say it's sort of a base. The catch? Well, the catch is simply... You. I mean, information about you. I'm intrigued. Something about you stirs something inside of me. And I want to know why. It's almost like I've seen you before. And yet, it also feels like we are meeting for the first time. I do not know how long I've been alive. As a result, I don't even know how many people I've met. So when I stumbled across you in the heat of battle, it reminded me of something or of someone. 
and it would be a shame to simply allow this feeling to fester without any sort of explanation. As far as my memory serves me, the last time I'd seen a familiar face, I was simply wandering to Tarasuna. I had met someone. They were unbelievably kind. And they took me in and they sheltered me. Even though I did not tell them who I was, they fed me. They gave me clothing and a bed to sleep on. And they allowed me to be close with their child. It's foolish to be revealing so much to who I presume to be a stranger, and yet I can't help but feel comfortable. <sighs> I'm being vague. Walk with me. We shall continue talking. After all, a deal is a deal. Information from you, and in exchange, I shall take you to Watatsumi Island. Excellent. Then come, let's get a move on. The time will go by faster the more we talk. This person, what do they look like? Well, I can't really, I can't really remember. I remember the warmth they always had. When they spoke to me, it's what I would imagine a mother would sound like when she would speak to her child. And I remember they would always make this amazing dish. I'm trying to remember what it was. We would always have squirrelfish and oftentimes they would only get potatoes and onions garlic and some other things oftentimes I wouldn't even look at the meal for too long and it would always be so delicious that it would often change my entire mood for the day it really was a time that I can compare to as a childhood. And yet we only had met for only a few short months before I left. I did not tell them because I knew that they would ask me to stay. And I knew that for the child who I had grown accustomed to playing with. They would beg me to stay too, but I left nonetheless. With my association, I would only be, I would only put their lives in danger. So I knew that I could not stay. What? In the middle of the... Yes, I, I did. It was very stormy that night, and I felt the thunder would, would cover my sounds, and heard me. So, so my assumption was correct. You, you're the, 
the child. 